welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Up next, the Lakers taking on the Bucks for Los Angeles. They're hungry to start the season off right. Opening night wins are extra sweet. Bucks, Lakers, up next. We're back in a moment. day for a long time it's opening day in the NBA thanks for joining us as we start the new season hello everyone I'm Brian Anderson joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg we'll hear from reporter Ali LaForce in a moment let's check out Milwaukee's starting lineup the heavyweights for this team Middleton and Giannis at forward Pat Connaughton is out there with Damian Lillard and it's Lopez in at the five and for the Lakers LeBron and Vanderbilt are the three and four D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Davis in at the five. Opening day of the regular season, Grant. Nothing quite like this first one of the year. You know, as a former player, you know firsthand that there's so much anticipation and hard work that goes into making it to opening day. So everyone right now is on a level playing field, and the dream is still alive. Now here's Russell. Against Sacramento, he was really on his game. And it's good. Two points. I think the more Russell looks to score from there, guys, the more dangerous he becomes. Lillard against Russell. Baseline jumper. And Lillard gets it to go. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Now here's Russell. To Reeves. James outside. Drains the triple. Ooh. Off the catch, but run, not lacking confidence or hesitating. And so Lillard will bring it up for the Bucks. It's a three point game. Lopez passes to Connaughton. Middleton outside. Six to shoot. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. On the Kupo for three. Rebounded by LeBron. And when it comes to Giannis Antetokounmpo, such a lovable player on and off the floor. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he's just such a carefree, gregarious, outgoing personality. Somebody that doesn't take himself too seriously. And he likes to tell his fair share of dad jokes, too, which is pretty endearing. Now here's Connaughton. Last game for him, he picked up 13. Yep, that one's good. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Here's James. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. You know, since the Lakers moved to L.A. in 1960, they've had the most sustained success in the NBA. Well, think about this, B.A. From West to Magic to Kobe to LeBron, they always have a superstar. And NBA players love living in L.A. And the city loves basketball. That free throw, good from James. You know, Grant, looking at the Milwaukee Bucks, they play in a sports crazed state in Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin definitely loves their football, but Milwaukee also goes hard for their Bucks, which is a big reason for their recent success, B.A. Now here's Anna Kumpo. Davis with a rebound. Pass to Vanderbilt. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Simply found the open man there because he read the defense. Well done by Davis. For Milwaukee, they've gone two for five here in the first. Anadokounmpo inside. Hard by Vanderbilt. Anadokounmpo, that's good. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. The Lakers in the lead. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Davis. Russell with the ball. Fader on the way. Lillard 
pulls down the board. And it's Lillard with the ball for the Bucks. Fires the three. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. The range Dane possesses is exceptional. That's what it takes to be logo Lillard. James deciding where to go with it. Right wing. Russell against Lillard. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. You can see Lopez tracking that shot the whole way. Nice awareness from him and a terrific rejection as well. Kumpo. That's good. He's going to work early on the offensive glass. He's so amped up. How about early attack mode? I love the approach he's coming to this game with. Really strong. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Well, Clark, with his mix of power and length, at times Giannis can seem unstoppable. You know what? Not often is it that one guy forces teams to reconsider their whole defensive game plan, but Giannis forces you to build the wall because you don't want him getting downhill or he'll make you suffer the consequences. And the Lakers going with a whole new group out there. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Browder comes in for Anadokounmpo. Bochan, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And Beasley has subbed in for Connaughton. Now here's Hachimura. And the call will be against Bobby Portis. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. coaching staff for these Bucks, but the roster has had plenty of time to develop chemistry. Well, I'll tell you what, Giannis is at the center of everything they do, B.A., including winning that championship. Not many conflicting personalities certainly helps, and these guys are well molded together. Now here's Lillard. He's got five. Sinks it from distance. Lillard's got his third bucket of the night. Lillard gets so much lift on his three-pointers, it's almost effortless how he shoots. Benson passes to Prince. To the paint. Here's Hayes. And finished off by Hayes. Good decision-making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. Portis outside. One oh two left in the first quarter. Back to Lillard. Pass to Bochan. Crowder outside. The three. It's hauled in by Reddish. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. Now here's Reddish. Yet to see a basket. And finished off by Hayes. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Fires in the triple. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Hayes, the pass to Vincent. Back to Hayes. And finished off by Hayes. Oh, another lead change. Six total in the first half. And this is the battle we were hoping to see. They grab their own miss. It's stolen. One second left. He can't get that one to fall. A nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. The Lakers on top, leading by a point. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Just joining us, 
it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. Taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, what I love is the tremendous belief in their bench. They were looking for points, and their reserves delivered. And you know, when the bench is playing such a big role early, that certainly allows the starters to stay fresh throughout the game. LeBron and Davis, the two stars for L.A. on the floor. They're the three and the five. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four spot. That's the group for the Lakers to kick off the second quarter. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. Another thing they're doing well early on is moving the ball, playing selfless basketball, and getting everybody involved on the offensive end. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. And Grant, you talked about it early in your playing days, blaming yourself for the Pistons not winning. Talk about that pressure on the best player to deliver wins. Well, B.A., the pressure is real, and it's tough to keep perspective. You just control what you can control. When you're tasked with leading a team to victory, you expect it first and foremost from yourself. And the Lakers have possession. Following the score by Milwaukee. And the shot goes down. You know, the defense has been very slow to adapt. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. LeBron James is sustaining greatness into his late 30s. He said, quote, as long as my mind stays in it, I can play at this level for a while. My body is going to be okay because I always make sure to take care of it and I put the work in. And Brian, call it mind over matter or the fountain of youth, whatever you want to call it. LeBron's work continues to pay off. Indeed, no question about that. Thank you, Alec. The Bucks have got two of three shots to go in the second. For three, here's Lillard. Davis with a rebound. After nailing three trays to start this game, he's gone silent here in the second quarter. Over on to Kumpo. The rebound by the Bucks, And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. Yes, yeah, surprised to split the season series last year. These guys have confidence in themselves against anyone they face. And you look at how they match up. Certainly you could see them lose at the but you would still expect them to come away with two wins. Here's James. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. It's one thing to prevent the layup. It's another to do it without fouling. Just terrific defense. Beasley misses. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley -oop. And the Bucks call time here. UK leaderboard and check out last season's best shot blockers. Third is Brooke Lopez. It's obvious that he completely dedicated himself to protecting the rim, doing everything he could to get his hands on as many shots as possible. Arna Kumpo, pass to Lopez. Now Lillard. Collinson outside. It's Middleton on the wing. Pass to Lillard. Just five on the clock. Let's it fly. Lopez. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. And here's James. Outside Vanderbilt. Here he goes. And can't get it to go. Now one of two. And so Honor Kupo will bring it up for Milwaukee. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Back to Middleton. With the fadeaway. Yes! Great play by Lillard to set it up. And the Bucks lead by three. Well, I like the fact that Middleton takes advantage of the mid-range jump shot. When he gets room to pull the trigger from there, he's taking it, and he's almost automatic. Shot is good by Reeves. I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from in close. If you can't stop it, here it comes. I'm right at you. 
pass to Connaughton. Now here's Lillard from downtown. He's got it going on. Oh, seven, seven for ten. Yeah, Lillard is relentless on offense tonight, getting bucket after bucket for his team. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. All right, man. Who wants a And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Hayes is checked in for Davis. Machimura comes in for Vanderbilt. Reddish is checked in for Reeves. And Vincent is subbed in for Russell. Here's Vincent. No points yet. Minute 50 left in the first half of basketball. And the layup is good off the glass. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now that they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Colleton. Pass to Bochan. Three pointer. It's hauled in by Reddish. The Lakers trail. James, left side. slam dunkers of all time. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Lillard passes to Bochan. A minute six left to play in the second quarter. From outside, off the mark. The Lakers have gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Here's Reddish there to take the lead but a miss that's the shot you hope for right at the rim just couldn't capitalize unloads from 13 it's hauled in by reddish reddish has got four rebounds now pass to james seconds left to play in the second quarter and he gets the bucket and I say hey if it keeps working go to it stay with it I mean until the defense responds and provides more resistance keep making them pay now here's Lillard 20 points for him basket counts yeah, so far he's been dominant this period making the most of his opportunities the Lakers have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second and here's James And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. More 2K action in just a moment. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 14 points and one rebound. And he wasn't himself in that last contest, but tonight, he's really turned it around. Shaq, what do you think about the Lakers? Well, it's been a big night for the guys off the bench so far. The scoring has given them a real spark. I think we can expect a few more minutes for the reserves. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Milwaukee? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back to Kevin Harlan. Go. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. What a game we're seeing from Damian Lillard. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Kicking off the second half, here's Adrian Griffin's five. Giannis and Lopez together down low. 
Connaughton and Middleton at the two and the three. And it's Lillard in at the one spot. Now here's Lillard on the wing, Connaughton. Back to Lillard from outside the arc. That infinite wingspan of Davis is on full display there. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. But the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the end one. Anthony Davis. And the first one at the line is good. And, you know, for a big man, Anthony Davis has always been above average at the free throw line. The Bucks trail. Onada Kumpo looking it over. Oh, down low. The Greek free throws. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Russell against Lillard. Russell, that's good. Russell's got the second bucket. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Now here's Lillard. He's got 22. Inside, here's Ana de Kumpo. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. Here's Reeves, covered by Connaughton. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Connaughton outside. Out to Lillard. Back to Connaughton. Middleton against James. For the lead. Middleton, no good. Since halftime, they've missed three of their first four shots. Still trying to get their legs under them. In terms of players who can be evolving, Clark, I mean, come on. How about Lopez? Well, Brad, I love the fact that he never stopped improving his game. He folded three-point shooting into his arsenal, and he also became a much more active and intimidating rim protector. Sinks the tray. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Now here's Vanderbilt. Russell. And he drops it in from the low post. Russell's got six points. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. Middleton outside. Lillard got a good look. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Lillard's got 27 points. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing we can find his teammates, too. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk over. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, typically, there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout that might be major or could be just a slight tweak. Prince has checked in for the Lakers. Beasley's checked in for Milwaukee. Bochamp comes in for Lillard. Prince, the pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by Beasley. Here's Davis. Milwaukee with the rebound. Adana Kumpo has got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Middleton. Back to Adana Kumpo. For the lead. And he lays it in. Give him eight. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from him. Side. Vanderbilt, the pass to Russell. Prince against Middleton. Right side, Davis. The rebound by the Bucks. Honor Kupo's got a rebound number five here tonight. Down low. Bochan gets the bucket. And it's a three-point Milwaukee lead. And that's unselfishness right there. Full display. Giannis wanting to get it to open teammates. Prince. And 
the way they attacked the glass was absolutely infectious, finishing in the top 10 in total rebounding in the league. And they really love to push the ball, finishing in the top five in fast break points. They were a fun team to watch. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Milwaukee. Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. And we can't forget about how ferocious they've been cutting to the rim, just going right at defenders and finding ways to finish. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. Crowder comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Reddish with it. Beasley covers. They shoot again. And Reddish gets it to go. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Now here's Middleton. To the middle. Here's Bochamp. Blocked! Vincent passes to Prince. And we've got a moment here to check out just how the points have been divided between the starters and the bench for the Bucks. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Here's Middleton. And that one drops for him. Middleton's got his second basket of the game. That's just what we call man-up strength from Middleton. I mean, taking the hit and then kind of effortlessly knocking down the shot as well. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Prince against Beasley. Pass to Middleton. Benson grabs a miss. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And here's Reddish. Launches it. Knocks down the triple. And now a three-point Laker lead. Fifteen seconds left in the third quarter. Middleton against Prince. Fires from the wing. Another miss by Middleton. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading buckets. The Lakers on top. They're up by three. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. Now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big time alley oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. LeBron and Achimura with the forwards. Gabe Vincent out there with Austin Reeves. And it's Davis in at the five. That's the Laker five. Cutting into this lead, they're well within striking distance. Boy, time to tighten it up on defense. A stop here would be huge. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. Against contact. Gotta stay strong. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. James passes to Vincent. Over Crowder. And that one hits the back iron. Nice work defensively. Meeting him up top and forcing the miss. It's Portis, high post. to Connaughton. Rejected by James. It's a part of his game that LeBron takes a lot of pride in. Shot blocking and defending. He's no slouch at that end of the floor. Inside. Davis hits. And the Lakers lead by five. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Well, you have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. 
And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. Here's Vincent. Pass to James. Oh, LeBron sending it home. Yet another stellar night for LeBron offensively so far. In some ways, he's just unstoppable. Donna Kumpo inside, working on Achimura. The Lakers have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. And it's James with the jam. In attack mode, we've seen this from James now for what, two decades? Timeout call, Milwaukee. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell him simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. The Lakers making a switch here. Vanderbilt's checked in. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard from Adrian Griffin as he talked with the team. He told his team, once you grab the rebound, run with the ball. Don't give them a single second to catch their breath. We control the pace of this game, not them. Guys expect the pace to pick up. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. Now here's Davis. Shoots over Connaughton. Davis can't hit. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this. And a foul called on the way out. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And Clark with Jake Crowder. He's always been an asset for a team in contention. Defensively, he's versatile. He can defend a number of different positions when you look at Jay Crowder. And that, that allows him to be a guy that you can give good minutes to in the playoffs. And he makes it first. goes in two from the line that time for Los Angeles they've gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far on the fourth here's James rebounded by the Bucks Lillard outside just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here here's on it Kumpo out of the Kumpo fighting through the context. Well, I tell you, the future of the Greek freak is extremely bright. I mean, he really has shown the ability to deliver in important spots of game. Here's James. And that one goes. Now 10 for 13 on the night. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Lillard can't get it to go. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the point. Yeah. Dave is such a terror in the open court. With his size and speed, that's a really lethal combination. Milwaukee calls timeout. You gotta like what we're seeing from LeBron James. You know, that defense is helpless right now. I mean, he's got their number, and he knows it. It's your time, everybody. Who wants one? And now we present our new balance player of the game, LeBron James. You know, honestly, I'm a bit in shock. I mean, he couldn't miss. Just look at this stat line. You've got to really see it to believe it. Complete confidence and all-out effort from him. And, you know, he made sure this was his night in spades and the lakers making a change here russell is checked in russell against beasley the strong finish by Giannis. you know beasley not trying to do too much or get too cute there just um finding the open man in a simple fashion well done Reeves, the pass to russell his post moves to get the two points. And the Lakers lead by six. And you know he's finishing when he gets that close count. Out of the Kupo against Vanderbilt. Beasley outside. Let's the three fly. They get it back. Second chance effort. And here's Lopez from the arc. That one is off. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Davis, the pass to Reeves. 
Russell. It's tipped. This James on the wing. Wow, some sturdy inside play from LeBron. Superb work in the pick and roll that time by LeBron James. Such a pro at executing in these sets. Takes advantage of whatever mistake the defense makes. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Here's LeBron. Left side, Davis. Pass to Reeves. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Connaughton. The shot by Reeves, no good. And so on to Kumpo will bring it up for Milwaukee. Trailing by eight. And that one's good. And the attitude of Atatumbo is really impressive. It's really what you want to see in your team's best player. He's a guy that doesn't back down when the game gets tight and things are on the line. That one misses for Atatumbo. And so they foul intentionally. Chris Middleton. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. And they go to the intentional foul. Chris Middleton, his third personal foul, second team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, LeBron James. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Look, the physicality has always stood out with LeBron. It's been obvious, but his basketball IQ is what makes him such a special, special player. I mean, he sees the game like very few ever have. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. The law. Very well done. Smart pass there by Beasley. He spots a guy with a better shot and doesn't hesitate to get in the ball. And now we've got an intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Lakers, D'Angelo Russell. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Guys, it's always good to see a young player start to mature in front of our eyes, and Russell has been that kind of guy. He's done a great job figuring out how to become a better leader. And so he drops them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. Timeout call, Milwaukee. They're trailing by eight. 23 seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? Trying to extend this one, but it seems to You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. Twenty-three seconds left in the final quarter. Lillard fires away from way outside. And again, it's the Bucks missing. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win. Russell with the ball. And so it's the Lakers with the W. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. All right, guys, LeBron, a superstar matchup tonight. What goes through your mind when you're facing that kind of a challenge? You know, for me, it's never about an individual challenge um, or individual game. It's about the team. Now, you do take the challenge anytime you're going against anybody, but you also got to have your mind in the game, too, and not make it personal. So taking a challenge, making sure your mind is in the right frame, and uh, just trying to make ways for your teammates to be successful. Thanks, LeBron. Back to you. Thanks, Alec. Great interview once again. And that'll do it for this inaugural game of the NBA season. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.